welcome back to Mini Tip Monday. Today, we're going to talk about nodes and how they can go wrong and really slow down your work. So real quick, uh, a node is a point on a shape that helps define that shape. So if we're looking at a square, we would expect four nodes, one in each corner. That's what we would need. And to verify that, we can select our shape and hit N to get to our node editor. And here we will have our four shapes. Now, the green node is our starting point. Black nodes are basically just straight lines coming out of them. We can drag them and move them around however we want. But things are kind of boring with straight lines. So to add a curve, we can select a node, right click and go to smooth. And now you will have a Bezier curve. And if you do any work in Illustrator, you're very familiar with these. So now it's blue, that determines the center of our arc. And these little handles will help sh shape, oh, hold on. These little handles will help shape what that arc is. So if we come over here and we do a couple little curves, and now we can adjust this however we want. So if we look at this, we have four nodes that are determining our shape, and that is kind of what we'd expect in this case. However, things can go wrong if you import shapes into vCarve as DXF files, or if you do an offset sometimes in vCarve. So here I'm gonna do an offset. I'm going to go up to our offset layer, just to keep things separate and I'm going to do a thousandth of an inch and I'm going to hit an offset and the shape looks the same but if I select this and hit N again you'll see that we have this so instead of nodes that are defining a curve with a Bezier this is just a bunch of little nodes really close together in straight lines making that same shape if I come back to our original, stuck in the wrong layer. Okay, and I come over to original. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna cut this with a quarter inch bit. Uh, we're gonna go down a quarter of an inch, single pass. We're gonna cut at 200 inches a minute and hit calculate. Oop. Helps if I select the vector, calculate, and we're going to do the exact same thing with our offset. So I'm going to open this up, select the offset one, quarter inch, quarter inch, 200 inches a minute, calculate, and if we come over to our time, according to VCarve, both should cut in 12 seconds. And let's head over to the machine and see if that's true. And we're off. Video on the left is the original. The video on the right is the offsets with the multiple nodes. And you'll notice that it's choppy on the right. It's, it's moving quickly from node to node, but it's not smooth and it never has a chance to get up to speed and because it doesn't get up to speed it takes a lot longer in this case almost 50 percent longer so how do we fix this we have a file it has a million nodes it's going to be a problem um, whether that was we did our offset we imported it from another program and vcarve has a feature to help correct this issue. So I'm going to come up to my layers and I'm going to go to original because earlier I screwed up and stuck the original on offset fix. So we're going to just select original and I am going to come over to curve fit, select the one that we want. And we have three options. You can try circular arcs. You can try Bezier curves. I use Bezier curves the majority of the time. This setting is how far away from the original line that we're looking at can we go to make it work. The larger this is, 
the less accurate it'll be, but possibly faster. Uh, four thou, ten thou in that range will probably work great. I'm gonna do four thou here. And if I hit preview and okay, when we zoom in, you will see that uh, the black is our new corrected one. And we are close. You know, sometimes we're right on, sometimes we're off, but the most we'll be off will be that four thousandths of an inch. So I'm gonna turn off our messed up one. I'm gonna duplicate. Select this. We have the same settings. Calculate and let's save this G code, head over to the machine and see what she does. This should look very similar to our original file. The millions of nodes are gone. She's not moving choppy from spot to spot. It's smooth. We have some acceleration, deceleration as she goes around, which is totally normal. Overall, a simple and good fix. And just because the internet is the internet, I'm going to zero her out and cut this one for real. Hopefully you found this helpful, and I'll see you next week. Take care.